Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and what if every Pokemon region had gym leaders representing every type? In this video, I'm gonna be making teams for those fictional gym leaders. I wanna thank Benjamin Adams for suggesting this video idea, and I wanna thank you for subscribing, because you clearly already have, right? Right? First, we'll start with Kanto, and going in alphabetical order, the first unrepresented type is Bug. The Bug Gym Leader's team would be Butterfree, Beedrill, Venomoth, Parasect, and their ace would be Pinsir, since Bugsy's ace is Scyther. All the teams I make today will be teams of five Pokemon, assuming that Gym Leader is the eighth and final Gym Leader. That way, you can convert them to one of the earlier gym leaders simply by removing and unevolving some of their Pokemon. Next up is Dark, which is a problem since Kanto doesn't have any Dark types. That means that the only way to make a Dark type gym leader work in Kanto is to make them, well, a foreign exchange gym leader from the Alola region. Two Alolan Raticates, Alolan Persian, Alolan Grimer, and their ace, Alolan Muck. It ain't pretty, but it's all I can do. Next up is Dragon, and this brings up something that's going to occur several times throughout this video. That type doesn't have a gym leader in that region, but it does have another prominent specialist. For most of these, I'll quickly say, yeah, a gym leader of that type would have the same team as the Elite Four member. So a Dragon Gym Leader in the Kanto region would have the same team as Lance does. However, if there are any changes I would make to that other specialist team, I'll let you know. Aha, it is I, Grunty Boy. Ugh, what do you want? I am in need of some durable phone cases because I didn't have one on my previous phone and well. You dropped it? No. I handed it to Eradicate and it dropped it. Should have known their little claws weren't dexterous enough. Sounds like you need a case from Casetify, the sponsor of this video. Casetify makes phone cases that are slim yet protective. Engineered with a two layer construction of their Chi Tech material, the impact cases are drop test approved for 6.6 .6 feet. Ooh, that sounds nice. Let me try it out. Hey, how did you get one of my cases? Also, is your phone pink? It's light red. That's what pink is. It's light red. Now let me drop test it. Wow, it works. That's not the only benefit of Casetify cases. They come in a ton of designs, allowing you to pick your favorite color or print. You can even customize a case with a custom phrase. This one says, hail yeah, and this one says, go team sky. You're quite fond of yourself, aren't you? Self-love is healthy, as is love of the environment. Casetify cases are made with 65% recycled materials and shipped in 100% recycled packaging made with recycled paper and non-toxic soy ink. Also, their new Defensify antimicrobial coating eliminates 99% of bacteria. Excellent, I'll take all of yours. How about instead, you just buy your own? If you head to casetify.com slash mnjtv, linked in the description below, you'll get 15% off your new favorite phone case. Okay, I'll do that for the new iPhone 13. Clearly need a Casetify case for that. Oh, and also they make Nintendo Switch cases too, right? Have to get myself one of those. But I'm still going to take all of yours. Ta-ta! Ugh. Anyways, thanks so much to Casetify for sponsoring this video, but now let's get back to it. Next up is Fairy, a type obviously unrepresented previously. Their team would be two Wigglytuffs, two Mr. Mimes, and an Ace Clefable. Obviously, there are undesirable repeats, which we can actually remove if we allow the gym leader to bring in regional variants, specifically Ninetales, Rapidash, and Weezing. I'm not really sure we should do that though, so let's just stick with the repeating team. Next up is Fighting, already represented by the Elite Four member, Bruce. Uno. His team is really dumb though. Two Onyxes? Why? A proper fighting leader's team would match Bruno's, but replace the Onyxes with Primeape and Poliwrath. Next is Flying. Their team would be Firo, Dodrio, Farfetch'd, Golbat, and an Ace Pidgeot. I know Falconer uses Pidgeotto as his ace, like next door, but I still wanna make Pidgeot the ace because it has the highest base stat total of all the other flying types that I discussed. Besides, Faulkner should have had a Johto Pokemon as his ace anyway. I talk about that in another video. Next is Ghost, which is super limited due to Gengar being the only fully evolved one. For the sake of simplicity, the Ghost leader should probably just have the same team as Agatha, the Ghost type Elite Four member. Next is Ice, which would have the same team as Lorelei. You could bring in an Alola form instead of Slowbro, but that complicates things and doesn't work in the older game. 
games. Next is Normal. Their team would be Lickitung, Chansey, Kangaskhan, Tauros, and an ace, Snorlax. Snorlax is the clear ace choice here due to being the strongest by a large margin. And the last unrepresented type in Kanto is Steel, which I think just might flat out not be possible. The only steel types in the original 151 are Magnemite and Magneton, and then I guess you could add on the Alola forms of Sandslash and Dugtrio. If we aren't allowing Alola forms though, this gym leader would have to pull a Morty and just use the same Pokemon over and over and over again. But in reality, they really just should not do a steel type leader in Kanto. Next is Johto, starting off with Dark. The Elite Four member Karen is a Dark specialist, but she uses non-Dark types that she doesn't need to. A proper Dark gym leader would use Umbreon, Murkrow, Sneasel, Houndoom, and an ace Tyranitar. Yeah, I know Tyranitar is really, really strong. So for this gym leader, Tyranitar would only be the ace if they were the eighth gym leader. If they were any earlier position, then you would just remove Tyranitar and make Houndoom the ace instead. Next up is Electric. They would use Jolteon, Lantern, Electabuzz, Raichu, and their ace, Ampharos. I picked these Pokemon specifically because all of them have at least one member of their evolutionary line in Johto. Next is Fairy. Their team would be Clefable, Wigglytuff, Togetic, Azumarill, and their ace, Granbull. Granbull is the ace due to being the strongest fairy type in Johto, and I prefer to give leaders aces from their home region. Next is Fire. Their team would be Ninetales, Magmar, Flareon, Macargo, and their ace, Houndoom, as it is the strongest non-legendary Johto fire type. Next is Grass. Their team would be Exeggutor, Parasect, Jumpluff, Sunflora, and their ace, Bellawesome. Two Kanto grass types Erica doesn't use in the Kanto games, plus the three Johto grass types, Bellossom being the strongest. Next is Ground. Their team would be Marowak, Sandslash, Quagsire, Gligar, and their ace, Donphan. Two ground types Giovanni doesn't use, plus the remaining Johto ground types that aren't already the aces of other gym leaders, Steelix and Piloswine specifically. Donphan is the ace due to being the strongest. Next is Poison, but Koga already represents that in the Elite Four. I would change his team a bit though, replacing Fortress with Quillfish. Next is Psychic already represented by Will. I would change his team though, replacing the repeat Zatu with a Giraffe Egg, a Johto Psychic type that I'm not sure why he doesn't use. The earlier generations really have so many instances of wholly illogical team roster choices. Like two Zatus? When Giraffe Egg is right there? Next is Rock. Their team would be Pseudowoodo, Shuckle, Macargo, Corsola, and an ace Tyranitar. I know that's the same ace as the dark type gym leader, but the other rock types are just not very strong. Also like with dark, Tyranitar is the ace if the gym leader is the last one, but drop Tyranitar and make Macargo the ace if they're earlier. Finally is water. Lantern, Azumarill, Mantine, Octillery, and an ace Politoed would make a great team. Now we move on to Hoenn, starting with Bug. Their team would be Beautifly, Dustox, Ninjask, Shedinja, and the ace Armaldo. I picked Armaldo as the ace, not only because it's the strong, Longest, but also because I think it would be cool to see a non-rock gym leader use prehistoric Pokemon. Next is Dark, which is already covered by the Elite Four member, Sydney. His team composition is great in all his appearances though, so I would keep a Dark gym leaders the same. Absol is just such a great ace for a Hoenn Dark specialist. Next is Dragon, already covered by the Elite Four member, Drake. His Emerald team is my favorite, so an eighth Dragon gym leader could certainly rock his team. However, if the Dragon leader was any earlier in the order, I think Salamence would be ditched in favor of Flygon as the ace to make it so they're not too powerful with that pseudo legendary. Next is Fairy. Their team would be Wigglytuff, Azumarill, two Mawiles, and their ace Gardevoir. I do have to repeat Mawile since there are only four fully evolved fairy types in the Hoenn Pokedex, and Mawile being the weakest seemed like the obvious repeat choice. Gardevoir is the obvious ace due to being much stronger than Mawile. Next is Ghost, already covered by the Elite Four member Phoebe. I do not like her team though. It has a lot of repeats, but in Gen 6, there were in regional decks ways to avoid those repeats. Replace Dusclops and one of the Banettes with Shedinja and Frostlass. I know Shedinja only has one HP, but like who cares for a gym leader? Next up is Grass, a type that I'm disappointed never had a gym leader in the Hoenn region due to how many cool grass types there are in Hoenn. In fact, in my If I Was a Gym Leader video, I designed myself as a grass type gym leader. And while this team will be a bit different, they will have a lot in common. 
The new team would be Braloom, Tropius, Rose Raid, Ludicolo, and their ace, Shift Tree. Shift Tree is the ace due to being the highest base stat total Pokemon here, with the exception of Rose Raid. However, Rose Raid is a Gen 4 Pokemon, so if this leader was in Gen 3, they'd be using Roselia, which is weaker than Shift Tree. Shift Tree is also tied with Ludicolo in base stat total, but I figured Shift Tree fit better as the ace due to not being a water type, an elemental type already used by two other major specialists in Hoenn. Next is Ground, another type that could have made a really cool team. That team would have been Camerupt, Whiscash, Claydol, Dawnfan, and the ace, Flygon. Flygon is the obvious ace due to being the strongest by a large margin. Next up is Ice, already covered by Glacia. I don't love her team due to all the repeats, but it's unavoidable due to how few Ice types there are in Hoenn. I suppose this is the best we could do for an Ice leader's team. Next up is Poison. They would use Rose Raid, Sviper, Crobat, Tentacruel, and their ace, Swalot. Swalot is the strongest native Hoenn poison type, so it gets the ace spot. And finally for Hoenn is Steel, already covered by the specialist Steven. However, I'd like to alter his team a bit since it's only half Steel types, plus cut it down to only five Pokemon. The team would be Mawile, Skarmory, Magnezone, Agron, and Metagross. However, like with the other leaders I gave a pseudo legendary, if they are any earlier than the last gym leader, the pseudo is removed. In this case, the ace would instead be Agron. And then we go to Sinnoh. First is Bug, already covered by Elite Four Aaron. His platinum team is almost perfect, but I'm not a fan of the Drapion ace. For my Bug gym leader, I'd replace Aaron's Drapion with Mothim, then make Yen Mega his ace. Next up is Dark. Their team would be Honchcrow, Drapion, Skunk Tank, Spiritomb, and their ace Weavile. Weavile being the ace due to being the strongest of all of these. Overall, it's a really buff team though. Next is Dragon, but this one is pretty impractical because the only fully evolved non-legendary dragon type added in Gen 4 is Garchomp. And then the only other dragon type in the Sinnoh decks in Platinum is Altaria. And then if you look at other Pokemon that are dragon-like that other dragon specialists have used, the only other one is Gyarados. That means the best team we can do is Ace Garchomp, two Altarias, and two Gyaradoses. Thanks, I hate it. I'm glad they didn't do this one. Next is Fairy, Gardevoir, Mr. Mime, Clefable, Azumarill, and Ace Togekiss. Conveniently, these are the only five fully evolved fairy types in the Platinum Sinnoh decks. Togekiss is obviously the ace due to its monstrous base stat total. Next is Fire, which Flint already covers. His Diamond and Pearl team is infamously awful, but his Platinum team is great. A Fire Gym Leader would use the same squad. Next is Flying. The team would be Staraptor, Driftblim, Honchcrow, Chatot, and Ace Togekiss. Togekiss is the ace like the Fairy team due to its massive strength. Next is Ground, overlapping with the Elite Four member Bertha. Her Platinum team is solid, so a Gym Leader of the same type would use the same team. Next is Normal. Their team would be Licky Licky, Snorlax, Perugly, Lopunny, and Ace Porygon Z. Porygon Z is technically weaker than Snorlax, but it's from Sinnoh and is actually only a tad weaker than Snorlax. Next is Poison, Roserade, Toxicroak, Skunk Tank, Crobat, and the Ace Drapion. Drapion is the ace since while it is weaker than Roserade, I didn't want it to overlap with Gardenia. And yes, Drapion does overlap with Aaron, but I only really care about overlaps with other gym leaders. Finally for Sinnoh, is Psychic. It overlaps with Lucian, but I have no complaints about his Platinum team, so the Psychic leader would likely go with something similar. Next is Unova, and I'll be making teams using the Black 2, White 2 Pokedex because it gives me more options. First, we have Dark, which overlaps with Grimsley. His Black 2, White 2 Challenge Mode team is solid though, so the Gym Leader can use the same team. Next is Fairy. Audino, Azumarill, Clefable, Wigglytuff, and Ace Whimsicott. I had to pick Audino since there are only four fully evolved Fairy types in the Black 2, White 2 Unova decks. And since Audino becomes Fairy type when it mega evolves, I thought it made sense. Whimsicott is the Ace due to being the only Pokemon changed to Fairy type within all of those introduced in Gen 5. Next is Fighting, already covered by Marshall. His challenge mode team is solid, so no need to change it. Next is Ghost, already covered by Chantal. Once again, her challenge mode team is dope, so I won't alter it. Next is Psychic, already covered by Caitlyn. Once again, no complaints with her challenge mode team. Next is Rock. Their team would be Caracosta, Archeops, Crustle, Agron, and Ace Gigalith. 
Gigalith is the strongest of the Unova rock types, so it's the clear ace choice. Technically, its base stat total is lower than Archeops, but Archeops has that whole defeatist problem. Also, I just, I love Gigalith. Like, it's one of the coolest Pokemon from Unova. Finally for Unova is Steel. Colress is listed as a Steel Specialist, but his most full team is only half Steel types, so I don't count him. The Steel team would be Durant, Ferrothorn, Skarmory, Escavalier, and Kling Klang. Kling Klang is the strongest non-legendary Unova Steel type, and thus is the clear ace choice. I had a lot of Steel options for this team, but I selected these ones specifically because they are not used much by other trainers. For example, Excadrill and Bisharp in particular are the aces of other Unova specialists. Next up we move to Kalos, where the first unrepresented type is Dark and I think the dark type would have really fit well in the Kalos region. I thought that so much that I did it myself and made my own dark type gym leader team. In fact, the dark type gym leader team for this video will not be far removed from my own. My final team was Greninja, Crocodile, Malamar, Skunk Tank, Pangoro, and Mega Absol. The first step is removing Greninja, the starter, both because I don't like giving gym leader starters and because I need to get down to five Pokemon. And then the team is basically done. Mega Absol is the ace if this gym leader is the eighth, since I believe the final gym leader of Kalos should have had a Mega. If this gym leader were earlier though, we would un-Mega Absol and make Pangoro the ace due to it being a bit stronger than Malamar. I think this team is very solid, but to be honest, Crocodile and Skunk Tank could be swapped around if we wanted, just because the Kalos deck has a ton of dark Pokemon options. I'll keep it at this group though, just due to my own attachment to it. Next is Dragon, already covered by the Elite Four member Drasna. A change I would make both for a Dragon leader and Drasna herself is adding on a Mega Ampharos. I talk about it in other videos a lot, but I firmly believe that Kalos should have made it so the eighth gym leader and all of the Elite Four members had Megas. Next is Fire, already covered by Malva. Add on a Mega Houndoom and it's good to go. Next is Flying. Mega Aerodactyl is the ace if they're the eighth gym leader, but if not the eighth, Noivern is the ace. I know Noivern is technically Drasna's ace, but literally all of the fully evolved flying type Pokemon introduced in Gen 6 that are not legendary are the aces of some major trainer. Like Halucha's with Karina, Talonflame's with Malva, Noivern is with Drasna, and Vivian is with Viola. So like, they didn't give me any other option but to steal one. Besides, Noivern is the strongest of those four, and also I think Mega Ampharos should have been Drasna's ace from the start. So this is what you get, Drasna. You get your ace stolen because you were too stupid to have a Mega. The rest of the team is Gliscor, Talonflame, and Swellow. Next up is Ghost. The ace would be Mega Bayonet if it was the final gym leader. I'm saving Gengar for poison. And Gorgeist otherwise. It's the strongest ghost introduced in Gen 6, aside from Aegislash, but Aegislash is already with the literal night guy, and I don't see a need to give it extra attention. The rest of the Pokemon would be Golurk, Sableye, and Trevenant. Next is Ground. If we allow Aorus Megas, their ace would be Mega Steelix. If not though, then the only Mega option is Garchomp, which I think might be too OP, so this leader might just have to be earlier. Although to be honest, I think it would be best if this ground type gym leader was earlier because their ace has to be Diggersby because the only other ground type introduced in gen six is Zygarde. Diggersby isn't super weak, especially if it has its hidden ability huge power, in which case it's actually pretty good, but I think it's more likely that it would not have its hidden ability and therefore would need to be an earlier gym Pokemon to avoid being outclassed. I'd say fourth gym or earlier. For the sake of consistency though, the rest of the team would be Golurk, Marowak, and Stunfisk. Next is Normal. If the final gym leader, the ace would be Mega Kangaskhan. If not, the ace would be Furfru. Pyroar is a bit stronger, but it's a Pokemon heavily associated with Lysander and I don't wanna mess with that. Also, why is it a normal type? Like, it's, it, it's fire. Just make it pure fire. The other Pokemon would be Exploud, Ursaring, and Tauros. Next is Poison. If the final gym leader, their ace would be Mega Gengar. Since it's the only XY poison type Mega, plus it would be fun to see Gengar as the ace of a poison specialist instead of a ghost specialist. If not the final leader though, their ace would be Dragalge. Literally the only newly added fully evolved poison type in gen six. The rest of their Pokemon would be Garbodor, Drapion, and Nidoqueen. 
Next is Steel, already covered by Wickstrom. Convert his Scizor to a Mega and add on a Bisharp and he's good to go. Then finally is Water, already covered by Seabolt. Add on Mega Blastoise like he used in the anime and he's ready. Next we move on to Alola, which does not have gym leaders, but does have other kinds of type specialists, namely Kahunas, trial leaders, antagonists, and Elite Four members. In previous videos about gym leaders, I've counted Kahunas as gym leaders. But since that would lead to me making 14 teams for 14 types, most of which are covered by other type specialists, I'm not gonna do the same for this video. For this video, I'm only gonna be making teams for types that have no prominent specialists at all. Because every type specialist has a team with at least three Pokemon, and almost all of them have a team with at least five Pokemon if you include the battle tree. So that leaves a grand total of one type, seriously. Bug has Guzma, Dark has Nanu, Dragon has Ryuki, Electric has Sophocles, Fairy has Mina, Fighting has Hala, Fire has Kiawe, Flying has Kahili, Ghost has Acerola, Grass has Mallow, Ground has Hapu, Normal has Elima, Poison has Plumeria, Psychic has Faba, Rock has Olivia, Steel has Mulane, and Water has Lana. So let's make an ice type Kahuna. Their ace would be Alola Ninetales since I'm quite fond of it and it's the strongest Alola ice type. Their other Pokemon would be Alolan Sandslash, Crabominable, Weavile, and Glaceon. And finally we reach Galar. And since Galar doesn't have an Elite Four, there's not really any overlaps that I have to discuss. Also, I will say that I will be counting Clara and Avery as the Poison and Psychic Gym Leader respectively. They are only in the minor leagues, but they have really fully fleshed out teams and are still technically gym leaders. First is Bug. The team would be Excelgore, Rabombi, Araquanid, Frostmoth, and Gigantamax or Beetle as the ace. Next is Electric, and I'll go with a slightly modified version of the team I made for myself in my If I Was a Gym Leader video since my idea for myself as a Galar gym leader was as the electric type gym leader. My team in that video was Lantern, Vikavolt, Dracozolt, Boltund, Pincurchin, and then Ace Gigantamax Toxtricity. If we remove Pincurchin, that makes a very solid electric leader team. Next is Flying. The team would be Cramorant, Braviary, Mandibuzz, Driftblim, and Gigantamax Corviknight as the ace. I know that Hop is already using Gigantamax Corviknight, but it's clearly the best Gigantamax for a flying leader, and his ace is the legendary anyways. Next is Ground. The team would be Runarigus, Hippowdon, Seismitoad, Galarian Stunfisk, and Gigantamax Sandaconda as the ace. And then finally is Normal. I considered including Steel, but since Chairman Rose is a Steel Specialist and Peony is also a Steel Specialist and literally a former Steel type gym leader, I didn't really see the point. The normal team would be Greedent, Indeedee, Drampaw, Beware, and Gigantamax Snorlax as the ace. Thank you so much for watching and an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you want to help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. Also, if you want to check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, gotta catch them all.